Hey people, Frank Zeman here, working on another project and a uh, bunch of stuff to share with you guys. So, uh, let me tell you about the project. It's, I gotta rebuild this motor and put it back in the car. It's a 91 Cutlass, nothing special about it. It's front wheel drive and motor ended up uh, turned down the motor because there was an issue with it and uh, I'm putting it back together now and got a lot of tech tips to share. So here we go. Okay, this video is going to be on engine block preparation only. Uh, I'll be doing the work. I'm not going to be showing you all the work done to it. Some of it, or a lot of it, is common sense. Clean it, take it apart completely, and you got to get into every little nook and cranny to clean the engine, get all the debris out of it. Uh, <clears throat> This motor is has 229,000 miles on it, I believe. Uh, it has been built, rebuilt at 100, around 100,000 miles. It had a, a spun bearing, which is why you pre-oil before you start it if the car's been sitting for a while. You spin the bearing and uh, the ground was cranked 10 under. Uh, on both mains and rods, so I put new camshaft bearings in it then. They're still good. Uh, I really don't have to do anything to the bottom end except put it back together. So it's mainly cleaning and more cleaning. So I'll be sharing how I'll be doing that. Uh, hopefully you guys can use it on your projects. Okay, work in suits. Okay, let's take a closer look at the engine. It's just a, a Chevy 3.1. It's an Oldsmobile car. It's pretty typical. It's got the aluminum heads. Uh, it's fuel-injected motor. Uh, motor's got around 200,000 miles. I don't know the exact mileage, but it's over 200,000 miles on it. Engine block's still in pretty good shape. I don't feel any any big ridge on the top of the cylinders so there's not too much wear in there I will be using the original stock pistons along with uh, the bottom end there's been work done to the bottom end the cranks been ground down 10 under rod and mains so it has some kind of work done to it it's got new camshaft bearings in it I didn't put those in just now. Those were put in on the first rebuild. So uh, let's get to the work. Okay, I'm going to start off by cleaning the deck surfaces. Uh, here's how I clean the deck surfaces. A razor. <laughs> you just take it and just scrape it along. It'll even take the rust off. See how good it does it. It'll take it down to the original machine marks when the engine was first made. Just takes a while. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. As you're cleaning the deck surface with the razor, you notice the razor is going to slide along the duct surface on one side of the blade and then it's going to feel a little rough on the other side to keep the razor sharp. It's getting little burrs and little nicks in the edge. You just want to sharpen it on a fine tooth file that's going to get rid of any kind of burrs on the edge of the blade, which will keep you from scratching the deck surface. That's how you keep the razor sharp. So as you're scraping, if you feel it going over a hole and it's snagging on something, it's obviously a burr sticking up. You take a file. I have a file assortment here. I have a rat tail file, flat file, triangle file 
and you're going to deburr the edges. You're not putting a deep or a big bevel on the edge, just big enough to get rid of the burr to make it round. If you make it round, it's going to be smooth. So you do it by hand. Not much pressure, just slide it across. It's going to get rid of any metal hanging hanging off of there to something, some little piece that's going to break off and, and float around in the engine is not good. Do that to all the holes and you can do it, let's see, you can do it to the water pathway holes. You can do it to the cylinder bores. That's going to melt, make the piston go down into the cylinder easier. And you can do the bolt holes. Okay. Okay, here's a good example of why to burn the block is a good idea. You can see the rough edges. Those rough edges are not sticking up, but they are uh, potential stress fractures. If you smoothen the edges down, it'll help keep that surface from cracking. You don't want a crack coming from that hole into the cylinder or most likely it would crack, start working its way over to this hole. So, do this hole real quick. I'm filing it down, what you're trying to do here. Oops. Just want to round it off a little bit to get rid of the, the sharp points. The sharp points is going to make the cracks so that's pretty much all you got to do <sighs> get a good look at it. you're not doing something real drastic you're just taking the edges off okay All right, you get the idea. Okay, looking at the deck, I want to clean off the gaskets. Uh, run your finger across it, it looks smooth, but you could see that the gasket material is still on there. Uh, I done scraped this little section here. You can see how shiny it is as compared to the dullness of this surface, which means uh, the gaskets still stuck on there and this is clean down to the bare metal. You keep going too because you're scraping off carbon. You can see the, the change in the shine of the surface if you look at it a certain way. That's what you're using as a reference. It's all about how you look at it, why you're doing it, so you can see how clean it is. You can see the gasket material right here. Feels smooth, but it's on there. Scrape the razor on it. You can feel 
that the material is raised up off the surface. And you can see a little piece of dirt right there. That's what you're scraping off. Something like this, it's rusty because of there's a hole in the head in the gasket too, and it went to the deck surface, so it just rusted up in that little spot there. You clean that down the bare metal. Just with the razor. Also, it's been sitting out at night, so it's got rust spots on there. It's going to take the rust off the engine, off the surface too. You see how clean it's getting. Start seeing the machine marks from when they made the engine. So you pretty much keep going. Any dark spots is carbon around the cylinder. You'll see the dark spots from the carbon. If you think the razor's getting dull, just sharpen it again. Flip it over, get both sides. You'll notice the difference when you're scraping it. Scrape a little better. See if I get a good spot. To that spot right there, the gasket was not all the way up on the deck. So this was exposed in the lifter valley and you could see the dirt. But when you run your finger across it, it's smooth. But watch, you could actually see the, the change in the, in the shine as I go across it. I'll do half. You can see how shiny it is now. Right there is compared to how dull it is, which is carbon from the oil. And on the deck surface, it's the gasket. You can see I scraped the gasket off too. See how clean that is. Okay. Okay, I got it all scraped off. And to finish it off, I'm gonna take a, a flat file, a fine tooth file make sure it's clean you don't want any burrs sticking out scratching the surface while you're going over it but you want pressure in the middle of the deck and you're just guiding it over looking for high spots you feel the file grab the high spot and it'll file it down Okay. A good angle of it. You can see the the light hitting the surface. You could tell that it's flat. The light goes over it smooth. And on the side, this side's a little better. I think I'll keep going on this side. And then after I file it down, I'm gonna wipe it down with thinner and I'm gonna put a coat of oil on there until it gets degreased. That way it don't rust up. Okay, okay I got the decks all clean. Show you real quick before I oil them down. Can't see what I did. I got it so smooth, I was actually smoothing the original mill marks from when they made the engine block. You can see it in the light, you can see the Original mill marks while the sun's out. Got this side too. And I only used a razor, a round file, and a flat file. I don't know where I put my flat file. It's somewhere around here. But that's all I used to clean the deck. I pulled the pins. So I can get the file to scrape along it, but that's it.
Okay, on to the next part. Okay, continue the work on the bottom end. Um, I filed down all the edges. You can see traces of it. I smoothed them down, made sure there's no high spots, just for the gasket sake. Did both sides. Continue to work on the main bearings. Main bearings, I don't have to worry about mixing them up. They're all marked. One, two, three, and of course the back one. Numbers face the front. They even have little arrows. <laughs> so, uh, continue deburring it going around all the edges on the main bearing. Uh, this edge is important because when you set the bearing in place, when you're pushing it in place, it might shave the bearing. So rounding this edge is important. Of course, the bolt hole, when they drill through, it's gonna leave burrs on the, on the outside. So I took a drill bit, half inch drill bit, and just deburred it that way. Around the edges, here, here, all around. So when you push it in place, it doesn't shave anything. Um, I also deburred the block. Uh, this edge, of course, all the way around, especially this edge here. This is where, when you slide the bearing in, it'll either slide in or while you're sliding it in it'll shave the bearing and that's actually happened to me a couple times so make sure these edges are, are rounded same thing here with the bolt holes I took the bolt the drill bit and just chamfered them a little bit just to get the shavings off because they do hold the shavings, the uh, the burrs when they drill them, you could feel it. So I'm gonna continue working my way down the mains, clean them up and throw them in the box. Okay, I got the whole engine 
empty bird. Got all the plugs pulled. I gotta pull, flip it over and get three more on the top part. But there's not one sharp edge on this motor. That's gonna help out a lot when I put it together. You even got the time and chain cover, and you can see. Let me flip it over. Okay, here's the top part, covered with oil. Pull one, two, three more plugs, and then the next step is cleaning. Clean, clean, clean. Okay, if you like this sort of thing, subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave them down below. This is Price Man. Bye.